Hello, my name is Brian DePaz Diaz, and today I'll be demonstrating the installation and configuration of Rocky Linux 9 on VirtualBox. Rocky Linux is a free and open source operating system that is based on Red Hat Enterprise Linux, also known as RHEL. It is an excellent choice for development, testing, and learning. So without further ado, let's get to it. For this tutorial, you're going to need the recommended system requirements and required software. You'll need 2 gigs of RAM and 2 gigs of free disk space, along with a CPU 2 gigahertz or faster, an ISO image of Rocky Linux, and finally, Oracle VirtualBox software. If you have any questions or concerns, feel free to leave a comment. Without further ado, let's start. Alright, the first step in our tutorial here is to install Oracle VirtualBox. So let's open up our preferred web browser. On the search bar, type in Oracle VirtualBox download. And if you're using Google, it should be the first result here. Download Oracle VM VirtualBox. Go ahead and click on the first link. Now we'll be presented a list of installers here. In my case, we're going to select Windows Hosts because I have a Windows operating system. But please do select the one that caters to your operating system. All right, click on the installer. I'm gonna go ahead and cancel this because I do have the installer on my desktop here. Run the installer, select yes to make any changes to your device, and we'll be presented with the setup. Now here, we're going to go ahead and click on next. Now you'll be presented with the custom setup. Leave everything here by default, don't have to change anything, just hit next. Go ahead and hit yes, yes again, and then install. It'll take a minute for it to install and then hit finish. And congratulations, you just successfully installed Oracle VirtualBox. The next step in our tutorial is to obtain the Rocky Linux ISO image. So open up your web browser again. On the search bar, type in Rocky Linux download. And it should be the first result here, download Rocky. Now the image that we want is the Arch Architecture X86 ISOS DVD. Go ahead and click on that. Now it will take a while for it to download, but that's okay. That's completely normal and nothing to worry. But since I already have it on my machine, I'm gonna go ahead and hit cancel again. Now, once you have it on your machine, Go ahead and open up VirtualBox, select new here. Now we're going to create our first virtual machine. Go ahead and give it a unique name. I'm going to name it LOL. Now go ahead and select the ISO image from your folder. Now by default, VirtualBox will select the type and version for you. So it should be Linux Red Hat 64-bit version. All right, go ahead and unintended install. Now leave everything here by default. Don't have to tweak anything, nothing. If you want to know, the password is change me. Go to hardware. Now I'm gonna leave the base memory and processors by default since this is just a simple tutorial. However, if you plan on doing more work, go ahead and give yourself more um, processing pro power or give yourself more memory and it's up to you. And likewise here for the hard disk or virtual hard disk memory, we're going to leave this by default, which is 20 gigs. Select finished. And congrats, you just created your first virtual machine. Now VirtualBox will automatically boot it up boot up the machine for you that's okay just go ahead and power off the machine because we want to make one adjustment go to storage now we see controller id ide unintended 
we're going to put in our DVD or ISO image um, here. Otherwise, without this, our virtual machine will not boot up um, Rocky Linux. Select OK. And go ahead and start. Now, it's giving us the option to test the medium or install Rocky Linux. We're going to go ahead and just install Rocky Linux. Now, this will take a few minutes for it to boot up. Give it time. Shouldn't take that long. Once your Rocky Linux is fully booted up, your screen should look something like this. Now go ahead and select your preferred language and then hit continue. Now here you can select your preferred keyboard layout, language support, your time and date. For me, America's city, New York, it will suffice installation source you can go and adjust this but we're going to leave all of this default for the most part what we want is to select our local standard disks excellent so that is okay yep all you have to do is just click on it and then hit done it already selected it for you network and host name here should be default go ahead and hit done Security profile, you know, we can just leave this by default. Now our root password. For the sake of this tutorial, I'm just gonna make it very simple. It's going to be root. That's okay, hit done. It's gonna ask you one more time if it's a short password or easy one and hit done. Then we'll begin the installation. Now, depending on your internet speed, this may take a while, and that's completely okay. Let it rest. All right, so once it's completed, go ahead and reboot your virtual machine. Of course, it'll take a while for it to get to the startup page. All right, here it is. If you would like to turn on your location, or it's already on, but if you would like to turn off, you can. I'll just leave it on. Connect to any of your accounts. I'm gonna skip that. And I'm just gonna give it my first name, which is Brian. Hit next. Of course, I'm going to give it a simple password, root. Well done, start using Linux. And congratulations, you have successfully install Rocky Linux into your PC. And it's up to you if you like to take a tour or not. I'm gonna hit no thanks. And that concludes the tutorial. In conclusion, we did the following things. We installed Oracle VirtualBox in your PC, followed with obtaining the Rocky Linux ISO image, that allowed us to create our first virtual machine in VirtualBox. Then we were able to install and configure Rocky Linux within that virtual machine. If you found this tutorial useful, consider subscribing and leave a like on the video. If you have any questions or concerns, please leave a comment below. Thank you so much for watching and have a good day.